In this video, we will take a closer look at creating a password generator using the WinUI on the Windows platform. You'll learn how to design a user interface using XAML and C Sharp, and leverage WinUI's powerful capabilities to craft dependable passwords. Let's break down this code in detail. This markup describes the layout and styling of various UI elements within a grid container. Grid with a background. This grid serves as a container for placing all the interface elements in your application. Here, a background with the color hashtag 0E0831 is set. Defining grid rows. In this block, grid rows with different heights are defined. These rows will be used to position UI elements inside the grid. Application Title In this code block, the top part of the application, title, is created. Inside this grid, there's an image representing the app's logo and a text block displaying the app's name. Control elements for password parameter configuration. The following code blocks, stack panels, define control elements for configuring password parameters like length, including uppercase, digits, and special characters. Stack panel for password output. Inside this stack panel, there is a text box where the generated password will be displayed and a button, app bar button, that allows copying the password to the clipboard. Stack panel for password length selection. This stack panel contains elements for selecting the password length, a length label, a slider, and a text block displaying the current selected length. Stack panel for including uppercase. This stack panel contains a control for toggling the inclusion of uppercase characters in the password. Similar stack panel blocks are defined for selecting other password parameters like lowercase, digits, and special characters. Button for generating password. This button allows the user to generate a password based on the selected parameters. When clicked, it triggers the generate button click event handler, which will perform the password generation. This XAML code defines the layout for the user interface of a password generator app on the Windows platform. Each control is placed in its corresponding grid row, and users can interact with these elements to configure parameters and generate passwords. The c -sharp code you provided manages the application's logic, including password generation and interaction with the UI elements defined in XAML.
Let's break down this C-sharp code in detail. Constants for password characters. In this part of the code, four constants are defined representing sets of characters that can be used in password generation. Lowercase, lowercase letters from A to Z. Uppercase, uppercase letters from A to Z. Numbers, digits from 0 to 9. Special chars, special characters. Constructor main window. This constructor runs when an instance of the main window class, representing the main window of your application, is created. In this constructor, the following actions are performed. The initialize component method is called to initialize the UI components defined in XAML. The extends content into title bar property is set to true, allowing content to extend into the title bar area. The window's title is set using the set title bar method, where app title bar is a grid containing your app's title. A window handle, HWND, is obtained using WinRT. Interop.windownative.getWindowHandle, this, and used to configure the window's size and properties. The window's size is set to 350 by 455 pixels. The overlap presenter is configured to always stay on top of other windows and prevent resizing, minimizing, and maximizing. You can find a detailed explanation of this part of the code in the video titled, Creating a C-Sharp WinUI Calculator, Step-by-Step -step Tutorial. Event handler slider value changed. This method is called when the user changes the value of a slider used to select the password length. Inside the method, the current value of the slider is checked and the length text text block is updated to display the selected length. Event handler generate button click. This method is called when the user clicks the Generate Password button. Inside the method, the following steps are performed. The password length is obtained from the slider. Generation parameters are determined based on the state of toggles, excluding unnecessary character sets. An empty string chars is created, which will contain the characters used for password generation. If none of the character sets are selected, chars remains empty, a message is displayed in the password output text box indicating the need to select at least one character type. Otherwise, the generate random password method is called to generate a password using the selected parameters, and the result is displayed in the password output text box. Method generate random password. This method takes a char's string, character set, and a password length and generates a random password of the specified length by randomly selecting characters from the provided character set. Event handler copy to clipboard click. This method is called when the user clicks the copy button. Inside the method, a data package object is created, containing the generated password, and this password is copied to the clipboard. This c -sharp code manages the application's logic, including generating passwords and interacting with the UI elements defined in XAML. Thank you for watching. We hope you found this tutorial informative and helpful in your journey to mastering WinUI and application development. Don't forget to like, share, 
and subscribe to our channel for more exciting WinUI and programming tutorials. Stay tuned for our upcoming videos, and happy coding!